the fourth Sunday after the Epiphany. Year C. From the first letter to the Corinthians. Now I know only in part. Then I will know fully, even as I have been fully known. In the name of the all-knowing, even the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our readings for this week contrast human reactions to developmental change with God's constancy throughout the course of human development. When I was a child, says Paul, I behaved like a child. When I became an adult, I put an end to childish ways. Now, Paul might seem to be saying, behave like grown-ups already. That reading, though, would present Paul himself as neither patient nor kind, despite his professed love toward his followers. What if Paul's words did not demand maturity, but instead compared our growth into maturity with our growth between now and eternity into full recognition of the glory of God? For now we see in a mirror dimly, but then we shall see face to face. In other words, rather than being impatient with ourselves for failing to comprehend divine love, we should patiently and kindly recognize our failings as characteristic of our current stage of development and have corresponding confidence that someday, somehow, we will know fully even as we have been fully known. Do not say, I'm only a boy, God reassures the rightly anxious Jeremiah, not because Jeremiah isn't immature, but because Jeremiah isn't alone. God is our refuge, our crag, and our stronghold, from our mother's womb and even beforehand. It's no wonder, though, that we have failure to comprehend that love, because Like the people of Nazareth, we are still children, still able to see only through a mirror dimly. We've seen the infant in the manger, have seen him grow as Joseph's son, so we expect him to remain Joseph's son, never exceeding the finitude of village life and village loyalties. No fair, we cry, when Jesus speaks of other loyalties, and in our rage, we try to hurl Jesus off the cliff of our awareness. But we can't throw the cliff off the cliff. The crag of God's love stands firm, even though we rage against it. The God who does not rejoice in wrongdoing continually does rejoice in the truth that someday we will get it, even as he has caught us. In the name of the God of abiding love, even the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.